Hello, hello, no excuses, ladies. Welcome to the No Excuses, ladies. I am Eva Eckert and I host. So what is the No Excuses, ladies all about? No Excuses, ladies weekly show is for all of you out there, ladies, who have been struggling with making way too many excuses in your life and find themselves uh, being unhappy and unsuccessful in life. This weekly show will teach you how to apply the no excuses mindset in all areas of your life with the foundation of your health and wellness so you can succeed in life, move the needle forward with the necessary tools provided. No excuses tribe is welcoming all of you ladies out there and for, for those of you who would like to become a badass because i believe all of us have it i am here to help you to guide you to support you and lead you to your full potential i will teach you the power of self-belief self-motivation discipline and mastermind alliance so you can stop making excuses and create the life you truly deserve and desire by being the best version of you so today episode number 23 23 weeks a little bit more with these episodes so today first of all i always start saying to you all of you who are there thank you thank you for your time Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking the page, subscribing to the YouTube channel, making your uh, making your comments, and really participating. And we, I always start with the recap from the previous week. So uh, what we were discussing last week, we had a, I had a host here, a guest, uh, Debbie Grosser, who wrote a, a book, and uh, never take for granted and that's what we've been discussing she was a guest on the show uh, but for this week this week today we're going to be discussing taking ownership i think a very important pa part in your life taking ownership being responsible so grab a pen and paper and let's write down the things that will first of all spark something in you some kind of intuition some kind of a motive to do something and also take notes maybe something that i'm telling you today thank you thank you eliana is watching something that will spark in you and you're gonna just maybe write something for yourself so again i am going actually today is the first live on my youtube channel today is the first live so if you know and know the link to click on just click on the link as it was uh, submitted today earlier and just join my youtube channel as well why not so ladies ownership uh, I, I have to tell you to um, to really create a life we dream and 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 become uh, the person we are capable of being is not just I think having more is being more is feeling more is experiencing more and first of all stay, staying truly to um, to to yourself like being for, you, for who you are being who you are and fully embracing the life and feeling joyful and happy right that's what it's all about but i know that a lot of us struggling with this and that's why i thought let's talk about this today so have you ha ever had a moment in life or maybe you are in right now in this moment or maybe you experienced not even one but many moments like this when you felt that it, it's just something is not right something is not good something is not feeling congruent with your mission, with where you are and what you want to be. It's like feeling almost in, not in your own skin and feeling super unhappy about it. So let I've had situations like this. Some of them were um, more impactful, some other were less. But this particular thing that I'm going to share with you today was so poignant so painful so in such a way uncomfortable for me that i thought i will share this with you because maybe this episode in my life this what happens to me move something in you and you're gonna take the necessary steps of action today because that's what it's all about guys at the end of the day it's just taking action not being perfect not having all figured out the figure out part will come as you go 
right now is just what we have. Today is the day we need to take action. So, uh, you, you know, we, we, we all, all had those many times, those situations like this right now. And that's when you're going to either, either stay in the situation or make a decision and change something in your life. And that's what it's all about, creating the change, the good change, right? So I am. I wanted to share with you because this significant thing that I uh, that I experienced it led us where you we are today. I am a coach. I've trained over twenty thousand people. Uh, Peak Physique was a seven figure business, amazing business with two locations, and we had an incredible time. And I just want to say to some of you who are watching this because some of you were a part of Peak. So thank you to you because you built this community, right? But. Let me go back uh, a little bit. So what exactly happened? Well, back back in the day, I would say um, it's been over probably 10 years. So it's quite a bit of time. Uh, I still feel it like today when I go back to this moment. But well, I was training in all these different uh, areas of New York and New Jersey. We didn't have the gym yet. So let's be clear. Peak physique exists but it's peak physique personal training it's not peak physique facility there is no physical location i'm training clients but i am also training in different facilities but i'm not coaching in a way like we used to coach at peak like there is a coach and training the client i'm just the fitness trainers that does about 10 hours of physical activities. And this is, um, I would say, uh, lasts for a long time. And you think, oh, wow, this is awesome. Probably she got in a great shape. It kept her going. Yes, but there are pros and cons to it. And the cons was that I overtrained myself to the point that I really couldn't train anymore. So it was actually hurting me because 10 hours a day, that's very difficult to perform when you're actually doing some kind of a cardio and strength training nonstop 10 hours a day. That's way too much. So I figured, you know what? It was like a moment. You know what? I am just going to step away from this for a little bit. I am just going to give myself a chance to do something else. And what I did, I, I applied for a job. I'm not going to be calling names of these places because, first of all, someone can be working there and can be super happy with the situation and congruent with what they're doing. So each of us are different. Let's make a note of this. So I grabbed that job. It was a big really commercial job, a huge, very famous place. And I was just uh, working there, right? So I would say it was something that was not totally congruent with my mission because I was a coach and here I am working at the counter, selling uh, some really, I would say, facial supplements, things that nature, very um, beautiful company, I would say, well known. And I thought that this is going to be something really amazing for me. Um, I thought that this will give me something because remember my decision on feeling a certain way. So I grabbed this job and I know that a lot of you might jump from thing to thing, sometimes from job to job and not really truly understand what you really want, even though I already knew it, but because it was hurting me, me physically, I figured I'm going to do something else. So I grabbed that job and and obviously new job, exciting and great. And as the time goes by, I start feeling, I start feeling a tension. I start feeling literally in my chest. I started feeling, uh, first of all, there were very uh, overwhelming hours, overwhelming hours. I'm talking about crazy schedule. And I felt like I was doing everything what I could have done for this position, um, you know, putting myself in the right shoes, trying to do everything, but there was something else. And what I'm telling you is right now, it was about really putting my attention to hours and hours of doing this instead of an hours and hours of doing something, something else like coaching. So I was putting my attention to this in the meantime, I was still coaching client. In the meantime, I was still uh, getting up at 5 a.m., going and babysitting. Look how many jobs. Some of you don't even know that I've done this because you know me just as a couple. 
and being very transparent and very honest about my life uh, you know, doing a babysitting job, going to work, coming home so crazy late, trying to fit my own schedule, trying to work out, trying to coach the clients. And it's overwhelming me. It started taking me to the point that I felt like I have not having any life that it's taking over. But there were things that really made my decision. First of all, I was not, I realized that I was not loving it. I like it, the position, but I was not loving it. It wasn't the same feeling when I had when I was coaching the session, feeling exciting, going the extra mile. I was always out there, always doing it because I loved it. Here, I was more like escaping, trying to hide, trying not to do the things that I should. And this was not something that I was congruent with. This wasn't me. So for all of you who are out there and having a hard time doing something like this, maybe you need to pause for a moment and say, you know what? I've been doing this. I've been not putting myself 100% to the situation. I've been not being myself. I've been not, I have not been, uh, you know, going that extra mile because that's what it is. When your heart and your soul belongs to something, you're going to do everything what you can to be there and to do it. Your bones, your, your, your whole spirit, will take over and that's what it's all about and that's what i'm talking about so i was not feeling like this plus the environment of the place is starting to getting into me so let me just give you an idea just to go on a break it would take you about 10 minutes to get to the destination of the break room right otherwise in a dark room with literally like the metal cabinets that were one by one there were hundreds of them and some women would be just sitting there and eating the lunch. This whole thing was so depressing on me that it's taking, starting a taking toll on me. Each time I would come there, I would go there, I would start feeling a, a heavy heart. I would start, instead of like getting up in the morning and going and feeling excited like I used to feel, I was like really feeling depressed and I've never, and I'm not a person that ever really experienced anything like this. And that was so new to me. That was incredibly hard that I, I, I felt like I'm walking with another backpack of me sitting on my shoulder, literally heavy, not feel, not feeling like I'm breathing, not feeling like I am excited about life. It was always the chip of my shoulder that was there and saying, you know what? This is not the right thing for you. This is, this is, you're not going to stay here. You're not going to be performing as you're supposed to perform. You're not going to be the one who you're supposed to be and how you should show up to the world. So uh, I am telling you the environment that I, that I, I, I got myself in. And the question that I started having was like, how is that? I am the person that I, I cannot take it. I, I'm not liking it. And I looked around and the people were just taking it. Talk to the, some of them and I would say, well, it is what it is. You can walk a few minutes and get to the break room, but the break room was not that much better and wasn't nothing that would make you feel better on that break, on that break from your work. But this dark room with all these closets without a light and uh, uh, squeezing one next to the other and people sitting uh, uh, on like uh, here and there, some single chairs that was not a place to be, period. And honestly, if I would ever been in a place like this, I would, or I would have been the owner. I would definitely invest and change things because we should bring joy to people and great um, places for them to work, right? But it wasn't me, so I couldn't take it. So one day, I remember was talking to my mom on the phone and uh, my family in Poland, and and I said to them, "I've been." <laughs> writing it down, putting it down. And I've realized I cannot take this anymore. I have to take action. I have to switch something, not do this anymore. And I remember like today, when I said this, it was like a new, a new life opened up in front of me. And I, and I, 
and I explained to myself that, and we also we were um, brainstorming with Steve at the time that this is something when uh, that at that time we created really a new way of big physique because we realized there is no way someone can train for 10 to 12 hours being non-stop when you perform 60 minutes of a workout you need to coach a person you need to look at them you need to direct them you need to help them but you it's not about you it's about them so that's when the whole idea came to place and when we opened later peak physique that was the whole coaching idea and there were no other places in rock at that time remember that we were the first one that we started the whole trend of boot camp so that was such a breakthrough for me but i have to tell you going with love and what you do and that's what i'm going to give you the breakthrough today with all these points so write them down because what is really taking ownership and having the no excuses mindset is being responsible for your own action right being responsible and really staying congruent with who you are what you love pushing yourself because i believe that every single person every single one of you have ability and create to create things based on you based on you whatever you have beautiful in you you have the power to create something special right so when you take the no excuses mindset you're gonna honor the journey first of all you're gonna understand that starts from one person one client one thing at a time then this will take time and i am a proven example of this because let me tell you when we started big physique i had zero clients in a physical location and i had a one client that would come three times a week or twice a week i don't remember exactly and then this thing by our consistency work our heart and our devotion to it change the one person into hundreds and hundreds of people, thousands and thousands of people, seven figure business, and an amazing journey. Not only for us, for our big freak family, for me, Steve, and now the kids, but for, for people that we who we have to change life for, right? Oh, Erica, thank you. And Eliana was there, thank you. But what I'm telling you and asking you today, take the ownership and go for the points that I'm gonna give you because be responsible and take ownership and the entire course of life will change for you. And I guarantee you this, we all want more, but remember living more, feeling that this is you, you putting your heart into it. And what is the system? Like I really thought about this through and I want you to write this down the aim the ambition and then desire that you have for doing things and for being who you want to be for creating something for living with a passion for living with joy and happiness for living like this is not a work somebody said a hobby is a not good way to describe it i don't know what you want to call it maybe you want to call it a hobby but sometimes if somebody has a hobby that takes over their life that's a beautiful thing guys because the hobby you spend this is something that you love to do and let's put it this way your job should be your hobby things that you do in life should be your hobby uh, and uh, you, you write it down po post in the comments what is that you love to do what is that doesn't really take a time that you're going to be checking on your phone i have a cool little clock here that you're going to be seeing okay when this is over no that's a struggle that's a struggle when you go to work nine to five or doing some other things and you cannot wait to leave you know so that was me back in the day that was me but taking an ownership and doing them so number evaluate the situation with the aim ambition and desire number two uh, create uh, attention like what are you attentive to where is your attention going are you are you really putting the attention to the right things or to the wrong things 
are you spending the time on things that don't matter to you and you're spending your life on sometimes it's just hurting me when i see people doing things that they should never not supposed to be doing that they have such a talent and the talent is wasted number three Give a pure love of what you do. That's really part of your responsibility. Your responsibility is give love to everything around you and then you will receive love. You give love, guys. There was never something that has been achieved in this life without love. I have to tell you, Edison created the, the, the whole lamps around, it, around us right now. All the electricity was from a pure love and pure devotion. Like, think about it. All these bridges, I always say this, and, and planes, another thing that wasn't just created out of just someone liking it, that we're obsessed. And that's one of our, uh, our points here, too. So pure love, it's going extra mile, going beyond something, going, and, and it comes out from you like a little creature out of you. Really, that's what it is. Number four, you must be obsessed. Or you're going to be average. And I was average. And I don't want to be average because I believe that everybody can show up with an obsessed and devoted meaning to their life. Number five, environment. Check your environment. Sometimes the environment, surroundings, might not giving you that good vibe. That wasn't a good vibe. I'm telling you that was not a good vibe did not like it. And your body, your soul, your heart, your brain will tell you this. Not only that, the people. Are the people supporting you? Or are the people uh, neglecting you? They're fighting with you. They go against you. They do not support you. Check it. Check. What is the environment like? Because you must be connected to the environment. Number six is belief and the faith. You have to believe that you will figure it out. But with the belief comes the faith. So I have the faith. I have already. I have to believe. It's just I lost it for a while. Number seven is very important. And I know this already because it's taking action. I quit. I quit and I quit and I wanted to do it. So taking action, being responsible, taking ownership, changing if you need to change so you finally find your path and stay congruent with who you are and what you want to do and really taking action do you think it's it's taking a big risk what do you think of course it is have you ever taken a risk and changing something like this if you have never never taken a risk in life and you're playing safe now it's the time so today i want to challenge you to all these seven steps all these seven steps, challenge yourself and see, is there anything I can change in my life? Is there anything I can improve? If you do everything 100% here and there is no change, you're still feeling the way you're feeling, I think it's time to drastically take action. And you know it. So ladies and gentlemen, whoever is, go is going to be watching me, please like, make the comments, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I am live today on the YouTube channel right here. I'm going to post this later on in this video because you will be able to see it. And of course, I want to hear from you because I show up here for you every week so you can do your homework. And I'm telling you, this is a gold mine. What we discuss here, what I give you here, it's a gold mine. It changed my life and it can change yours but we really need to do a reflection and that's something that we can talk about you know developing the skills that will lead you to the next level and one of them would be reflection but we're gonna leave this for the next time i just want to say thank you for participating thank you for being with me here every single week you are amazing remember you are amazing so go and desire the, the life that you want to desire, the, develop something that you want to develop and have the no excuses mindset for life. I will talk to you later, guys. Have a no excuses day. Have a no excuses Wednesday. Talk to you soon. Bye.